practice or work in team drills. We put him on the spot by trying to do that, and this year he's had a full off season. His knee is a hundred percent knock on wood, and he's had all the practices, and that's how you get ready to play a football season. Bruce Allen on on Robert Griffin the third. The reason why I read those those comments is it's so it's so amazing to me how the narrative can change so quickly. Now you're talking about somebody who threw conveniently the head coach Mike Shanahan under the bus saying that that's disrespectful to the game of football to to actually think that you can put him out there and he'd have success uh rehabbing all that time all the way up until uh, training camp, going through training camp, having not played a game, and then put them out there for the first game. That was your excuse last year for for the failures of Robert Griffin III and this team. Bruce Allen and this this team has continuously perpetuated the 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 false the false notion that Robert Griffin III is the reason why this team is losing. That's first and foremost. That's the first thing that I want to put out there. Because it's interesting to me how everything is coming down to get rid of Robert Griffin III. Robert Griffin III isn't a good enough quarterback. We need to move on from Robert Griffin III. All these things that are being said about the one guy that I've ne- I- I never in the history of of sport ever heard a guy not have one thing said. Maybe there were two things said about them, and the reports were were challenged and basically disgraced the people who put it out there when they said something negative about Robert Griffin III during during the uh, combine and interviews time before the draft, leading up to the draft. They talked about all these different things, how things were going to change, how the 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 health of this organization was was in safe hands was good for the next 10 years or more by bringing this guy here that was sold to the washington Redskins faithful and now that hasn't panned out and to think that that grown ass men would put the blame on robert griffin the as to why this team continues to fail is beyond me it's beyond me does he does he do all of the things that Jay Gruden came out and said last week? Yes. He doesn't read defense as well. He doesn't go through his progressions well. He doesn't have good pocket awareness. But this is the same guy that was good enough to win a Heisman Trophy. This is the same guy that that they said that people said all over the country, not just in Washington D.C., that they outside of Andrew Luck being in that draft, they had never seen a guy with the rare, unique blend of ability, arm strength, legs, athleticism, all these things that we talked about with Robert Griffin III. So it's beyond me how we find a way to crucify the players that are brought in to sell tickets for the Washington Redskins year in and year out. The same narrative rang true with Sean Taylor. The same narrative rang true with LeVar Arrington. The same narrative rang true with Jason Campbell, Lavernius Coles, Chan Bailey. These same narratives played out with those guys. And yet and still, the team doesn't win. The team does not excel. There is not a winning culture that is connected to this organization. And I've said it from day one, and and all I hear is is excuse after excuse, reason after reason, uh, personal attack after personal attack, when when the truth is so evident and it's so clear. My only question is, is knowing that the ownership is not going to change. So whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But how do you now justify? Cause you can, we can, we can sit here and we can pile on Robert Griffin the third all we want. And I'm sure DC media has piled on him very much. So I'm sure it's an avalanche of piling on Robert Griffin the third. And, and everybody's going right with it. But has anybody challenged themselves to really look at the narrative that continues to play out on a consistent basis year in and year out, career in and career out in Washington, D.C.? 